Hi friends, it's Yellow Day, and I just introduced you to some of our newest family members, our little baby ducks, weren't they so cute? And I thought it would be fun if we would do a guided drawing of a duckling today. But we're going to uh, make it go along with the weather. Did you happen to notice that it's rainy outside today? Yeah, so we're gonna make a rainy day duck. Yeah, when, when our ducklings grow up, they're gonna have feathers that will help them to stay dry even when they go into the water to swim. Isn't that cool? Okay, well, let's get started. You're gonna need a piece of paper. You'll need a marker or a pencil, something to draw with. You'll want some, maybe some crayons or colorful markers to color in your picture when you're all done, or you might decide to paint. I'm gonna use some water paint today. Um, so I thought that would be fun. Well, we're gonna get started in the middle of our paper, and my paper is like a hot dog. It's going long ways. I want you to make a circle. This is gonna be our, our duck's body. You probably wanna make it medium-sized, not too small, but not too big, okay? Because we're gonna put some other things um, in our picture. Now I want you to make a triangle, but the triangle is gonna have like curvy corners or vertices. So I want you to watch me first. This is gonna be our duck's head. We're gonna start up at the top and we're just gonna make our triangle head. But do you notice how the vertices or the corners are rounded instead of being so pointy? Yeah, good job. Okay, well now let's work on our duck's face. I want you to make two ovals and then I want you to make two black circles in the inside. And if you wanna add some eyelashes to the side, you can do that. I think I'm gonna add some eyelashes. I'm gonna make mine a little girl duck there. And now we're going to make a bill on our duck. So we're gonna make another triangle, but it's gonna be upside down this time. So there's our upside down triangle, okay? Let's give our duck some wings. I want you to go to the left hand side and I want you to make a line going out and then underneath I want you to make some smiley smileys that are connected like that okay and now go to the right hand side and make another line going out and make some smiley faces that are connected all the way to the bottom. Yeah awesome. Okay now we're gonna make some legs for our duckling. So I'm gonna Put two short lines together on the left and two short lines together on the right. And then we're gonna make its webbed feet. So we're going to go out and we're gonna, we're gonna make just some curvy lines for our webbed feet. Go out, make some curvy lines and back in. There's our webbed feet, okay? Now, if you wanna add a couple more um, smileys in the middle, for, to, to represent feathers, you can do that. I wanna make my duck holding an umbrella for a rainy day. So I'm going to draw a big J. And that's going to be the handle of my umbrella. And then for the top of my umbrella, I'm gonna make some frowny faces that are connected. Frown, 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 just like that. That's the bottom of my umbrella. And then for the top, I'm gonna go up and around and back down to the other side. Yeah, now for your umbrella, if you wanna add some lines, you could do that. I could add some lines to my umbrella. You could add polka dots, you could add zigzags, you could make your umbrella however you want. Now, since it's a rainy day, I wanna add a cloud in the sky. So I'm gonna make a big cloud over here and I'm gonna add some raindrops that are coming down. Can you draw some raindrops falling from your cloud? Now, would a duck use an umbrella to stay dry? No, that's silly, huh? But a duck would have some waterproof feathers that would help it to stay dry. Yeah, we're gonna do a, a science experiment later on to show how a duck's feathers help them. Okay, well, our drawing part is done, so now we get to fill it in with some color. Now, I'm just gonna get started on mine, and then I want you to work on yours, and I would love to see a picture of your rainy day duck later on today. What color do you think I should make my duck's body? Yellow, yeah, of course. So 
I'm going to paint yellow for my duck's body. I can't wait to see your duckling when you're all done. I'm just gonna fill this in with lots and lots of yellow. What color would I make the duckling's legs or his, his bill, his duck bill? Orange, yeah, that'd be a great color to use. So I'll get my orange ready here in just a minute. You wanna make sure that you make your duck's body and his wings and even his head all yellow. Yeah, I'm gonna try to be very careful that I don't paint my duck's uh, eyeballs yellow. I wanna leave my eyes white there for my duck. How's yours coming along? I can't wait to see it. You guys are doing such an awesome job sending me pictures of the art projects you've been making. I love seeing them. Okay, let's see. I've got a little bit more over here on this side to fill in. And then I'm gonna work on my duck's bill and his feet. I'm gonna make them orange. And then my umbrella could be any color I want. I could make it, make it purple or blue or pink or green. Okay, awesome. Well, I'm gonna work on my umbrella and make it really colorful. I want you to work on your uh, drawing. Maybe you're working on the painting part right now or maybe you're coloring with crayons or markers. Send me a picture when you're all done. Okay, bye friends.